Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is actually a collab video that the beautiful It's MJ Maria here on YouTube started along with Shawnee, Anna Absolu, Navadine Antoinette, Perfume Realm, and Takara Thompson. I hope I'm saying that right. I, I've been watching these girls videos lately and Unlike me, my name, Rebecca, Becky, is, is so easy. Some of these other beautiful names that are on here, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. So girl, let me know if I'm saying that correctly. I will have all these beautiful ladies linked below and we are all bringing you five fragrances that YouTube fragrance reviewers made me buy. I do have one that's not from the fragrance community and I will go into that. But if you wanna go right into the list because you don't wanna hear all the chatter, go ahead and go to this timestamp right here because I am gonna explain a little bit. So I started my channel doing beauty, doing more makeup, skincare, and I wanted to get into hair. And I didn't really know that there was a perfume community. And how I found out about the fragrance community was actually from a makeup YouTuber who I am gonna mention only because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have met this awesome community. And then once I saw one person's perfume video, then of course I started seeing suggestions. But I don't typically just go out and buy a perfume based on one person's recommendation, just because I'm I've never been like that with anything. I researched the hell out of everything that I buy. But I was able to pick up five that I can genuinely say these people didn't influence me to buy. But again, for the most part, I watch a lot of different review videos. So this list, I really had to scour and go through my entire collection. And then I, I was able to pick five and I do have one honorable mention. I'll mention that at the end. So after watching Kathleen Light's perfume collection video and seeing her talk about Jimmy Choo and about how this is a beautiful, mature, dark, sexy patchouli scent. I knew I had to have it in my collection, but <laughs> uh, if there's one thing I didn't really get was the whole EDP versus EDT, the eau de toilette versus the eau de parfum. I understood that there were chances that the eau de toilette and the eau de parfum could be different, but I thought that was more rare than common. And now that I've actually like binged and been watching and I can totally see where the eau de parfum and the eau de toilette are often very different, which is very frustrating. So I, I picked up the EDT because that's what was cheap and what was on sale. And then when I saw her video again, because yes, I, I watch videos over and over again, I noticed that the bottle she was holding was like a darker smoky color. And I also noticed that I didn't really get the patchouli heaviness in the EDT. So then I went out and I ended up picking out the Eau de Parfum. And Kathleen Lights has actually been one of my top perfume influencers. I've purchased four perfumes based on her reviews just because I really enjoy her. And I would say three out of the four have worked out. But I wanted to add this one in because this is the one that I wanted the most. And I discovered the EDT, which I also really enjoy because of the mix-up. So this is definitely a Kathleen Lights made me buy it. So once I saw her video and I did my first perfume haul video, and that's when I discovered the perfume community, I started getting recommendations. And of course, one of the first recommendations I ever got was Jeremy Fragrance. And I picked up a perfume that I'm sure a lot of ladies have picked up. Actually, I know a lot of ladies have picked up because I've seen it in people's videos. And that is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. So I definitely picked this one up because of Jeremy Fragrance. Now, I've been a fan of Viva La Juicy um, from way before. I, I've been using Viva La Juicy since I was like 25, 26. So over 10 years now. <laughs> And I used to use that scent when I would go out to the club and go out. So first of all, what piqued my interest was the fact that he said this was a man eater. And I know that this perfume is like overdone. It's very popular, but I would have to agree with Jeremy. When I wear this perfume as basic as it is, I always get a compliment from a guy, especially if I go out. Like if I go out, I usually have someone tell me, you smell really good. 
Now, is it anything revolutionary? No, it's not. Um, it's probably not something I would add back into my collection just because I think I've, I've moved on from Viva La Juicy now that my collection is growing. But I do wear this out because I do think that this is a perfume that, um, again, maybe not men who collect fragrances, but your typical everyday man does notice. It's just a yummy, um, fruity floral. It's got vanilla and it's a scent that if you want to smell like dessert, you want to smell like a snack, this is definitely the scent. So this was a Jeremy fragrance made me buy. And then this next one, I, I, I've mentioned it before, and two people actually made me buy this, and that is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. Now, the first person I heard mention this one was Demi Rawlings, and the way she described this scent, I was like, that sounds like my kind of scent. It sounds fresh and green and floral, but not too like heavy floral. I really love the way she described this scent. And then the bottle, but it wasn't until I saw Rosita Applebaum, which is actually a makeup reviewer that I, I enjoy and I've and I followed before. I saw this in her collection. That's kind of what made me finally get it. So this was a Demi Rawlings slash Rosita Applebaum made me buy. Okay, and this next scent, I don't really see her anymore. She doesn't post anymore, but I picked up this scent because of Emmy Ever After. She was a fragrance uh, reviewer that I binged. I really love the way she talks about fragrances. She has a very calm presence about her. Really enjoyed her videos, but she, again, she doesn't film anymore. There were a lot of perfumes that I was interested in because of her, but what I got after seeing her review was Ellie Saab's Girl of Now. And I saw her talk about this before I saw, I know Jeremy Fragrance has mentioned this, but I actually saw her talk about it first. And just the way she described this scent, I mean, this, I didn't see a ton of reviews. I legit went out and got this after I saw her video. So again, that's Girl of Now by Ellie Saab. And this is just a cozy, warm, I believe there's almond in here and like orange. But this is, again, just a nice gourmand scent. I do like to wear this scent more in fall and winter this is a beautiful winter set and whenever i wear this i do get compliments on this one as well okay and then this last one was actually a scent i was going to pick up but the bottle didn't interest me because yes if it's a blind buy i look at everything the bottle didn't interest me i never heard about it in the perfume community and the deal that i saw wasn't like a crazy deal at tj maxx and that is versace versace so after seeing it and passing it up at TJ Maxx, I saw Sarah May's video where she, I don't know if it was a TJ Maxx haul, but she talks about this perfume. And that's another uh, fragrance reviewer that I really like watching her videos. I like how she talks about fragrances. She has another calming presence about her. She talked about how this was a very fresh citrus scent and I love fresh scents. I mean, I kind of thought it could be a fresh scent but I don't know why because I love fresh scents I just didn't think to buy it again it wasn't anything that anyone talked about she also said that this was a dupe for uh Chanel Chance Eau Fresh I actually prefer this one over Eau Fresh this one I picked this up today it's already gonna be six and I picked this up early this morning with my mom and my sister and as soon as I got home I put it on and this stayed on my skin up until now I mean it's still on it I also left my sister's house and she texts me and she's like whatever you're wearing you left it in my kitchen but in a good way so this scent I will definitely have to test out more but it's a beautiful fresh citrus but not like a lemon, like a lemon heavy citrus. The citrus in here isn't sharp, like I would say my Aqua de Joya. It's uh, more, I would say, maybe in the opening, a little. <sighs> this scent is gorgeous. Very green, citrus, clean, soapy, right out of the shower. I think this is gonna be very beautiful to layer with. So this was Sarah May's Made Me Buy It. Okay, and then the last scent is an honorable mention. I've actually had this scent in my collection, but when I saw this cutie post a picture up on her Insta stories, her little cute 
photo with this perfume it made me want to go back out and re-pick it up and that is my girl it's mj or maria here on youtube and that is narciso rodriguez for her the all the parfum and again i've had this scent in my collection but she did inspire me to go re-pick it up without even trying she just posted up a cute little picture up on her insta stories and i'm like yes i need that back in my collection so so yeah guys that is five perfumes with an honorable mention that various fragrance reviewers have influenced me to buy let me know in the comments below what fragrances did you guys pick up because of another fragrance person did you like it did you hate it did you guys pick up gold couture did you pick up any of these because of the people that i've mentioned let's get the comments going and that will do it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you like me and haven't already subscribed to my channel i would really appreciate it if you subscribe click that notification bell so you know when i upload and until next time guys